I like to get the dogs ready to work by giving them rapid reward. So I give her the marker, which is my click, and then a treat several times over. You might be using the word yes as your marker. Both work great. I begin to teach Kahana her down by using a lure. In this case, it's just her kibble because she's really food motivated. You might have to use something a little more exciting to your dog. I lure her into her down and then I give her the treat. I do this several times until she's giving me the behavior reliably. Now that it's reliable, I'm adding the cue, which is down. Down. Yes, good job. Down. Nice. I'm using the treats and tossing them away to get her to stand back up. Then she orients back to me and down. we do it again. I ask for the behavior without any lure because I'm pretty sure she knows what I'm asking. You can see her brain working to figure out what she needs to do. Down. Yes. There we go. And I mark it with my click as soon as she's just about to complete the behavior Down. with her butt hitting the ground or those front paws. I like to work in really small sessions, so five or 10 repetitions, depending on the dog, Kahana really likes to Down. work, so I can usually get about 10 behaviors out of her before she gets a break. A break can just be a few minutes of playing, love, cuddles, whatever the dog needs. Down. We've already done several repetitions without the cue with Bailey, our little Bernadoodle puppy here. So now we've added the down with the lure until we get super reliable behavior with yeah. that combo. Nice. She's pretty cute with her little sliding approach to her down. Down. We get a work through her distractions. There's some activity outside of the front window. I call her for a recall, and then I'm asking her for her behavior without any luring, and she figures it out pretty quick. Down. Yes. There we go. Down. Some helpful tips. Make it fun and keep things short. I ask for five to 10 repetitions of a behavior and then we take a small break of fun and cuddles and then we're right back at it for five to 10 more. If the dog starts to give less behaviors than you think they're capable of, then it's time for a larger break. Use the appropriate treat. If I'm typically training with kibble, but I'm asking for a new behavior that might be a little bit more difficult, I'm going to bring out a higher value. So maybe some chicken or some liver treats to get them really excited and willing to work.
I use jackpots to really reinforce something that's difficult. So if the dog goes down for the first time on cue, and I know that that was hard for her, I might just give five or six rapid kibbles in a row just to really make a big impact on the dog's brain. Generalizing behaviors to different environments and positions is really important. So once I taught Kahana how to do a down while I was sitting down, I then had to teach her from my standing. And then I'm going to have to go outside and teach her how to do a down out in the front yard, out in front of a building, or at a coffee shop until she can generalize the behavior. It's much more difficult for dogs to generalize than humans do.